In Birmingham, a house and a local pizza joint go up in flames within a block of each other. A fire is stretching firefighters thin as they race to put out the flames. Fox News Dave Spencer live tonight with a look at the damage. Yeah, Monica, that was certainly the case. Primo's Pizza and Party Store was the first to go up in flames. That's just about a half a block down Adams from where I'm standing now. But while that was certainly keeping people busy, at the same time, just a half a block down Lincoln Avenue, a house caught fire, and that made sure everybody was busy this afternoon. Witnesses say it started with a bang in Birmingham Tuesday afternoon. It was pretty scary seeing that fire just shoot up into the sky. And then there was a lot of black smoke and everyone started running over there. Running towards a staple in this neighborhood, Primo's Pizza and Party Store, less than two blocks from the fire station. And the fire department came right out, like within a minute. The fire took uh, the roof mostly. Uh, the interior is, is pretty, looking pretty good, uh, but you know, it's, it's hard to say how, you know, at this time how much damage. Thomas Chambers lives on Lincoln. He was walking home from watching the Primo's fire, which was still burning. So we looked over across the street and saw fire starting out of the dumpster. Construction crews were working on this new build when the second fire broke out. How is this happening? Approximately 45 minutes later, we got a news of another structure fire just around the block. We do not believe they're related anyway. With Birmingham already having its hands full, mutual aid came in to help. It's amazing how quickly they came too, right? So when you look on the side of the truck, it's like Royal Oak, Bloomfield, and then here comes the ladder from Rochester. So I think it's uh, it's nice to have that community. They helped us out on a day like today because it's pretty unprecedented to have uh, two fires at the same time going in a smaller city like Birmingham. The trick at that point, making sure firefighters from different cities worked and communicated together. With the radios we have, we're able to switch channels and put everyone on different fire channels. And like I said, thankfully, no firefighters, no citizens, nobody got hurt. And by all accounts, from the chief's perspective, it was a successful day. The fire, the house fire was put out in about 20 minutes. Primo's fire was put out in roughly an hour. And it's safe to reiterate that nobody, not a firefighter, not a citizen, got injured in all of this. Reporting live tonight in Birmingham, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Dave, any word on what caused both fires? Yeah, as soon as that fire was out, fire investigators, the fire marshal was on scene. He was going through Primo's trying to get a better determination, but they don't know what caused either of them. They did say that they're not related, despite what some people might have thought that an ember might have flew over. They say that's likely not the case, and they will also likely go over some of the viewer video that was seen to get a better idea of where it started at both Primo's and that house down the road. Yeah, and thank goodness for that mutual aid. Thanks, Dave.